Today on 10 Minute IT Gems, we're joined by Stephen Madden, who is the Technical Alliance Manager for Australia and New Zealand at Wasabi Technologies. Wasabi is on a mission to store all the world's data by making data storage simple, affordable, fast, and secure. If you have data to store, Wasabi's pledge is to always be the cheapest, fastest, most secure, and most reliable cloud storage in the world. Stephen joins us today to tell us more about Wasabi and more about their channel strategy. Thank you for coming along, Stephen, and welcome to the Gem. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Good to be here. Happy to have you here. Well, let's get straight into it. Who is Wasabi and what is your role at the company? Yeah, thanks, Tom. So Wasabi is a Boston-based company uh, privately held uh, right now with uh, $500 million plus dollars worth of uh, investment, 400 people uh, operating globally, uh, 13 data centres uh, for Wasabi's uh, hot cloud storage. Awesome. And what do you do at the company? So I'm the technical alliances manager and sales specialist for Wasabi in Australia and New Zealand. I work with distribution uh, channel partners and our customers. Awesome. And now what do you see as the current key drivers in relation to cloud storage? Yeah, it's a really fascinating uh, market. Cloud storage now is ubiquitous in cloud uh, services and applications, Amazon, Google, uh, Azure, uh, MSPs, ASPs, uh, you know, we see cloud everywhere. So uh, cloud storage, you know, one of the key drivers uh, is without a doubt backup and recovery. The majority of the world's data is actually at least secondary uh, copy data, tertiary uh, and beyond. Uh, analysts put that uh, at 85% or no more. So we definitely see uh, a lot of that at Wasabi. So that's definitely a key driver you know, working with alliance uh, partners uh, such as Veeam, uh, for example. Uh, also, though, uh, files, uh, NAS, uh, you know, primary uh, workloads, uh, we see uh, Wasabi and cloud storage leverage for that and capacity uh, offload. Media entertainment, uh, video workflows, pre and post uh, production, um, that's uh, a lot of capacity. Uh, and we see uh, that demand at Wasabi, uh, most definitely. And also Wasabi Surveillance Cloud, uh, and more recently uh, released a product so that partners and customers can uh, securely store their CCTV video uh, content in an offsite uh, location, which can be a key uh, driver. So uh, there's some of the things that uh, we're seeing. Uh, Wasabi's already uh, a multi exabyte uh, provider. Uh, around the world, an exabyte, 1,024 petabytes, petabyte, 1,024 terabytes. So that's a lot of storage. Um, so, you know, all these things uh, together um, uh, drive the demand and Wasabi is uh, growing around the world. Uh, here in uh, Australia, just uh, for example, our Sydney location um, is going very strong. Uh, we have a lot of partners and customers ingesting there uh, daily uh, and doing that at scale. Well, now, what type of partners on board with Wasabi to resell or create services? Yeah, there's two main types of uh, partner uh, coming in under distribution. There's the value-added reseller uh, partner, and uh, we have many of those that we engage with on a daily basis. Uh, and, you know, one example of a vertical that we'd see them uh, sell to you know, their customers quite often is higher education uh, universities. Uh, did a significant uh, opportunity uh, with an Australian university uh, just yesterday, uh, actually. And uh, so that's a really good business uh, model for us and for our partners. Uh, Wasabi uh, on the bill of materials for a service or a solution on that uh, VAR model um, takes a lot of cost out. So it changes the whole product mix uh, for the partner. It makes them very competitive. Uh, which is not dissimilar then uh, to some of the things that we see with the MSP partners, uh, where we have dozens, scores, uh, maybe a hundred plus uh, MSP partners across Australia and New Zealand uh, right now. In fact, I was in uh, Auckland uh, recently and we've got some great partners there uh, that use Wasabi in conjunction with backup and recovery software uh, to correct uh, services for their customers. So Wasabi from the customer perspective, maybe under the covers and part of that service. Uh, but it's really a very cost-effective 
for for everyone there. So the customer finds value. Uh, it's a high value, profitable service for the partner, and it's robust and it's reliable, and the customer's data is backed up in a secure uh, facility. So uh, they're the two main types of partners: the VAR uh, and the MSP. Well, now, why do partners sell Wasabi or select Wasabi as the cloud object storage for their managed services? Yeah, and that's where we're really busy. And we have uh, a tool called uh, the Wasabi Account Control Manager, which is a free tool for our partners that allows them to create uh, accounts or tenancy uh, on the Wasabi system. So that, that allows them to uh, operate quickly uh, and they can use those tools via the GUI and the API to create their services. When Wasabi is a fraction of the cost of alternatives, uh, could be a fifth uh, or less uh, compared to something in hyperscalers and no charges for uh, APIs, no charges for uh, egress. So for the partner there, they have uh, something that's very predictable in terms of their cost to uh, create uh, the service. So with our tools, with our product, with the, the pricing mix uh, and how we uh, don't meter uh, for certain things uh, that allows the, the partners to create uh, robust, reliable service, services. Customers are very happy, so they drive high customer sat um, and uh, be able to do that in a way that's very competitive um, in, in a market where cloud is ubiquitous. Well, now, with the likes of AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, where does Wasabi fit into this? And what are the benefits of Wasabi compared to hyperscalers? Yeah, Wasabi is 100% focused on cloud object storage. We're 13 data centers around the world. Um, Sydney, um, the one closest uh, to us here in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, a lot of New Zealand customers are in there uh, and uh, a lot of Australian uh, customers so the 13 locations, exabytes worth of capacity, we're focused on cloud object storage. We can do it, and by doing that, it's part of how we get to a very excellent price point for our partners and customers, because we're very efficient on the disk, it's our reference architecture, it's our stack, that's all we do. Uh, Amazon, Google, uh, and Azure, they're our partners as well. Uh, they have the uh, compute, uh, Lambda services, database services, uh, networking, thousands of products and SKUs that we don't do it. So, so we're focused purely on the storage. Uh, we can migrate from the hyperscalers to, to Wasabi, and we have tools for that, uh, and very often, um, our customers and partners will have compute services and database and, and the things that we don't do that would run in the hyperscaler cloud and there'll be a connection from that environment to Wasabi. So Wasabi is the data, Could you know, uh, lots of use cases for that, uh, but we can connect clouds. So um, it's not um, one or the other, um, more often than not, it is some of the hyperscaler uh, and uh, using that in conjunction uh, with Wasabi. Well, now, is Wasabi only cloud object storage or are there any other additional products and services? Yeah, for a one product company that's really focused on cloud object storage, uh, we actually, we do have some other things. Uh, uh, I mentioned before the Wasabi Account uh, Control Manager, the free application that we provide uh, for our partners and customers can use that too. You know, a good example of a customer taking that in is a university where central IT would have the provisioning tool and they can carve out and create storage accounts for the faculties. Um, we see that in New Zealand, um, actually. So um, that, that's one. There's uh, Wasabi Cloud NAS, which is a real uh, lightweight uh, and smart uh, application for Windows operating systems to offload file capacity from a uh, Windows environment to Wasabi Cloud, and it orchestrates the movement of files to and from the cloud that is seamless and uh, transparent to the user or application. Um, we see that used in really interesting ways. Uh, healthcare uh, is one, architecture, engineering, construction, a couple of verticals where that uh, emerges, retail is another, anything with uh, small office, branch office. Uh, Wasabi Cloud NAS is uh, very simple, uh, low, low cost and effective. Sorry about that. Uh, then 
Uh, also, uh, there's Wasabi Surveillance Cloud, uh, which we mentioned uh, before, of course, Tom. Uh, and uh, also there's networking uh, capability inside Wasabi, so we can have a physical port uh, on our end uh, so our customers can connect to us uh, over private links. Well, I guess to finish off, how would prospective resellers contact Wasabi to sign up or find out more? Yeah, that's really easy. Um, wasabi.com, there's the partners page. There's a button there to uh, click on to uh, fill out an application form to join the partner program. Uh, we do um, try to make that really easy. We do make that easy uh, for our uh, partners uh, to onboard with us. There's then the partner portal uh, for deal registration, all the sales and marketing, collateral uh, training, uh, and uh, things like that. So it's a rich, uh, rich, uh, set of resources uh, there for our partners to access. Awesome. Well, it has been a pleasure having you on the jam, Stephen, and learning more about Wasabi and what you guys do. We look forward to hearing more from Wasabi very soon. Thanks, Tom.